what does indigestion have to do with a computer chip? We'll take an antacid tablet to see if you can stop it from dissolving. This is the technique used to create microchips in the devices that are all around you. Let's try etching for ourselves. Chip kids, you ready to learn? Let's go! What's good, what's up, I'm Miss Poe. Chip kids, welcome to our show. All about devices, let's get locked in. Integrate chips, then we're going for the win. Etching is the process used in microfabrication where we remove layers from our chip with a mask protecting the layers that we want to keep. Everyone has an antacid tablet. This tablet is made of pressed powder given its structure. First, we're going to take our tape and place it on both sides of the tablet, leaving a part of it exposed. Can I eat this? There. This will be the section that you want to etch. Vinegar. Vinegar kind of smells like salt and vinegar chips. Now, we will take our tablet and place it in our vinegar etching solution. After the tablet is submerged, we will set a timer for five minutes to see what results occur. It's bubbling. I think the tablet is going to like melt in some type of way and disappear. The part in the middle where there's no tape is bubbling and it's forming bubbles at the top of the vinegar. That's how they make microchips? Give them a closer look, AP. Antacid tablets are made of calcium carbonate. The same thing eggshells are made of. When placed in vinegar, a very mild acid called acetic acid, the following reaction takes place. As a result of this reaction, the calcium carbonate is eaten away, but only where the vinegar touches the tablet. The longer you wait, the more material etches away. Scientists do experiments to determine how long to etch to get the profile they want. Microelectronic circuits aren't made from calcium carbonate. They're made of silicon, but silicon also reacts in a similar way when exposed to an acid. For our final step, we will take our tablet out of our solution so you can observe the results of the etching process. Hmm. I can see layers missing. I can tell that the middle is like been etched away. So it's changed colors and it's way different than the part that we taped off because it got rid of the stuff that it didn't want in the middle. Ah, don't want to touch that. You can see where our mask protected these layers from being etched and where the gas and chemical reactions from our solution removed the exposed layer. Does this unmasked strip look like you thought it would? I think the middle is probably etched away because of the color change from the middle and the outside. As you look at it, it looks like the tape part looks the same as it was before, but then when you put it in the vinegar, on the middle part, it looks like it's been melting a little bit. I never heard of etching before. Etching is an important step in the development of microchips and semiconductors, but simple to understand once you study the chemical reactions behind it. Let's learn. Chip kid.